Hi, Lights and Laws. How are you? Namaste. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. Today is hump day, the middle of the week. I hope you're having a fabulous week. If you haven't already done so, please make sure to hit that red support button down below and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your post notifications so you'll get an email and an alert on your phone every time a new video goes up. And I'm posting every Monday. I don't know if you guys caught that, but for the past maybe six weeks, I've been posting on Monday. So I hope you like that schedule. This week, I actually went live during the week. So I would like to do that if that's something you want me to do. Go live once during the week. And with your post notifications turned on, you'll get alerted every time a video comes up. You won't miss out. And when we do lives, you can join the live chat and talk to some of our other family members in the chat. And if you have a YouTube channel, we can shout you out and you can get some support from the chat. And smash that thumbs up, please. All right, lights and loves. So today I wanted to do another mukbang, another eating show. I made some tacos. I have some ground beef in here with onions and some taco seasonings and I put some garlic powder in there. I have three flour tortillas right here. I usually like hard tacos, but I accidentally grabbed a soft taco box, but that's okay. On this plate, I have some diced up sweet onions, some diced up organic tomatoes, and some chopped up organic spinach. I have a tall glass of passion fruit juice, parcha in Spanish, some water. And over on this side, I have my favorite herb on the planet, some cilantro, some sour cream, some limes, and some yellow shredded cheese. I also got a couple napkins here because this might get messy. And I hope you guys are joining me and having a meal with me. And what do you think about me doing live mukbangs? Let me know what you think about that because then we can eat together on live and chat. So what should we talk about? I was thinking about asking you if you wanted to talk about growing a YouTube channel. I don't think a lot of our lights and loves have like active channels, but every time one of you guys leaves me a new comment and I can tell that you're a new viewer, I go and I check your channel and I subscribe if I see like if you have a video. I try to subscribe all the time. Whoops, I already dropped some grease. You know what I forgot to do was drain the fat before stirring in the, the seasoning, but it's okay, a little bit of fat is good for you especially when it's ground-fed beef. Ground-fed, grass-fed beef. Okay, got some onions. So I always subscribe, so just in case you do post a video, hopefully I'll get a notification and I can go support you and return the love because it means so much when you guys come over to my channel and leave me some love and support. I get the sweetest comments, which reminds me of that today's comment spotlight. I wanted to say thank you for your sweet words. You really touched my soul with your kind words. And I wanted to give you a little shout out. Thank you so much, Lynn Carcella. You're the comment winner. You're the comment winner. All right, let's add some cheese. So we have tomatoes, onion, spinach, some cheese. Now let's add some cilantro. Making a mess. It's all right, I'm the cleaning lady anyways. My hands are getting greasy and a couple of squirts of some lime. What do you guys think? I'm gonna roll it up like this so it can be easier to eat. So long story short, I see the beauty in YouTube and I understand the many wonderful opportunities that could open if you're on YouTube. And I've been on YouTube for four years and I know how hard it is to grow a channel organically. And if it weren't for this community that I recently found out about back in May, so it's been a few months, like five or six months, I'm a creator community, I think my channel would have still been at a standstill. And it wasn't until I joined this community that my channel started growing a little bit quicker, two or three new family members a day. And this was the first time that I actually surpassed 100K views altogether. And the first time that I saw my channel organically pop up on a YouTube search from another computer that wasn't logged in. And I think that really like just sparked and ignited this like 
faith and hope and belief that this channel will grow and it all, it's all thanks to you. So I want to share this community with you and hope that you will start a YouTube channel because I believe it's it's good for your soul to have someone to connect with. It's a good therapy to be able to rant on camera if that's what you want to do. It's a good way to collect memories for your future children and grandchildren. And not to mention, when you do get to the point to where you make money, it's a good way to make money from home. Um, I haven't made money on YouTube yet in these four years, and that's okay because it's just so rewarding and I just love it. But I would like to dedicate all my time to it and make it a full-time career. Especially because in the future, I want to be a, a stay-at-home mom where I can homeschool my kids and work from home and still have income coming in. And I think that that's like the way that a lot of us feel in our generation. I feel like a lot of us are turning away from like working for the man and we want to work for ourselves. And I think YouTube's a great way to start. Mm. You know what? I think it needs more meat, but I'm not gonna mess this one up. Mm. So what I got I love cilantro. Mm. So what I got was like a Taco Bell box. So these are like Taco Bell ingredients. Well, the seasonings and the tortilla are Taco Bell ingredients. And these tortillas are kind of like rough. I don't know if that's how they're supposed to be, but I guess I shouldn't be complaining since I like hard tacos, right? some good stuff it's opening up to you thank you guys so much for 14,000 family members I remember starting at zero and I'm so happy that YouTube has brought us all together I can't say thank you enough for being so patient with me and so supportive and loving you guys are the best like i get the most sweetest positive comments on youtube i've never gotten kindness like this in person and i just i'm just forever indebted to you i'm so thankful that you're in my life i wouldn't be as happy as i am today or as peaceful or as far along in my spiritual journey or as content as i am if it weren't for you so thank you so much So what do you guys think about that new series I started, Explore Florida? I'll link the video up here. Wait, might be up here. But I'll link the video, just click on the top right corner of this video and the little eye will pop up. Click on that and watch it later. <laughs> but, because um, I want you to stick around. But that's the series I started, Explore Florida. And I was wondering what you thought about it. I got a couple nice comments and good feedback from that video. And the next place I want to take you is my favorite store in the whole wide world. I haven't been around much. I've only been to like four countries, but it's my favorite store. It's where I get my crystals, my incense, my sage, my oils, my uh, Tibetan singing bowls, my chakra stuff. It's my favorite like spiritual slash um what do they call it um metaphysical my favorite metaphysical store and not only because it's the best but because i've been a customer of that store for like so long and it's like a safe spot for me like it reminds me of so many good memories from my childhood and whatnot I don't think there's any more meat on this one. Mm. 
You know what? Tasting it alone. Might need some salt, but that's not a bad thing. Healthier that way. I love passion fruit juice. Mmm, interesting. That one's a new brand. I haven't tried that brand before. Not bad. I usually get the Welch's one. All right, guys. So let's go on to the second taco. You know what I think I want to start doing is like writing out scripts for my videos. What do you guys think? Because I feel like I just get on here and I don't know what to say. And if I showed you like the lists of videos that I have in mind that I want to create for you guys, a lot of story times, a lot of ASMR videos. There's so much. But when I get on here, I'm like, la, 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 just like in the moment, just want to hang out with you. But I think I might start doing that. Is that too much meat? No. It felt a little weak earlier, so I put a little bit more. Some spinach. But yes, let's go back to I am a creator. If you want to join this community, this community is about helping your channel grow. Follow James Cox here on YouTube whoops and i'll link his channel down below also follow him on twitter he's the one that actually got me like into twitter like hardcore like i am now follow me too please i'll follow you back i follow everyone back if i if i like don't follow you back one day make sure to shoot me a message or leave me a comment like yell at me send me an email so i try to follow everyone back on my snapchat my instagram my twitter so make sure to follow me but anyways, follow James and he, he does, he does live streams daily, multiple times a day. And everyone in the chat supports each other's channels. And the philosophy of the group is you subscribe to each other's channels, you watch each other's videos in full, you leave a thumbs up, you leave a nice comment, you share it, you add it to a playlist. And what this does is that it registers the person you're supporting this video up higher on the YouTube algorithm from my understanding and it also gets you views and likes and it gets your numbers going while you're supporting other people so it's like the wonderful law of attraction and motion for YouTube support and I think it's phenomenal I think you should definitely join even if you don't have a video up come on into one of the chats and we'll start giving you support so as soon as you put your first video up you'll have subscribers to watch it all right, guys, here goes the second one. It's a little empty of meat on the end. I'm like really hungry for this beef today, huh? I'm gonna put a little bit extra right there. And a little bit extra cilantro. I love onions, but I think we have enough because I cooked some onions in there as well. All right, here we go. Crispy, warm, herby, cheesy. I was gonna say moist, but I don't think that's an appropriate word for food, but creamy, <laughs> delicious, oily, flowery, non-keto goodness. Let's see, to make this keto, you would just have to take away the tortilla and make sure there's no sugar in the taco seasoning mix. Oh, I heard tomatoes and the sweet onions, Never mind. There's a lot of work to make this keto, but I really need to do a juice fast again because <clears throat> I'm noti noticing some because I'm noticing some changes in my body that of course I love because I love myself and I'm always going to love myself and my body no matter what but I am noticing some changes that I want to reverse and I know the way to do that is through juicing and through fasting so what do you guys think I should do should I do a juice fast or should I do a water fast and shout out to Hippie Island, my favorite spirit. I'll link her channel down below for putting me on to water fasting. And I'll link below a PDF about water fasting. So it's free if you wanna get more information on it. Cause I know a lot of people in the beginning are just like turned off by it. They think it's terrible, horrible. It's the worst thing you can do to your body. 
but it's not. And this PDF really put so much knowledge, put me onto so much knowledge about things I never thought about before. And it really inspired me to do a water fast. And I have water fasted since I've met her and since I, met, I read the PDF. But I wanna do an extreme long one, like no less than 21 days. The longest I've fasted on juice is 14 days. Before that was 12 and I've done a couple three days and a couple seven days, but I've never done more than one day on just water. So let me know in the comments below what you think I should do, a water fast or a juice fast. If you want some more information on a juice fast, I would recommend Fat Sick and Nearly Dead documentary on Netflix. I'll try to link that below as well. So after you do your research, you can come back and tell me what you think I should do. And what I want to do is I want to go on live, YouTube live, and do live videos when I'm drinking my juice or drinking my water throughout the fast. And I want to share like the difference in measurements and my body measurements, difference in weight, difference in my spirituality level, the difference in what level I can hit in meditation. Um, what else? The problems that I have that I'm noticing. So I'm noticing a couple like skin tags. Like I never had skin tags before. It's nothing uncommon, but I read that with fasting, you can reverse them and some joint pain and really sensitive knees and elbows. So, oh, and I have this pain in my finger right here in my thumb and the like meaty part right here for months now. So these are just a few things I wanna reverse and halt before they get any worse. Not to mention some weight loss. I would like to reach my college weight someday again you guys read that let me know and maybe we can do it together we can get a few of us we can do like an Instagram chat where we can motivate each other every day and add all of us into the chat if a few of us agree that we want to do this together and then maybe we can do like a bet is that legal I should know this but like maybe we can all Maybe we can start like a GoFundMe and we all donate like $10 into that GoFundMe and then at the end of the challenge, the winner, whoever loses the most inches and, and weight and um, is the healthiest and feels the most enlightened or whatever, I don't know how we're going to measure that, the winner can win all the money. Just wondering because I love you guys so much and I want us all to be healthy together. What say you? Hmm? I feel like I'm eating and chewing and swallowing quicker because I want to like hurry up and break the silence and speak to you. So I don't want to talk with my mouth full. What do you guys think about the setup? Do you like it? Wow, that last bite kind of like squirted lime juice on my throat and I loved it. Very citrusy. Oh, and I wanted to ask you guys, do you think my teeth look any whiter? <laughs> look back in a couple of older videos and tell me what you think because I made some natural toothpaste with coconut oil, baking soda, peppermint, essential oil, and xylitol, which is a natural sweetener. And then I do this treatment a long, long, long time ago, I'm not sure what it was, but for some reason I had some teeth molds made. It might have been like in the middle of consultation for braces, I don't remember. But for some reason I still have these molds. So what I did after my natural toothpaste and of course uh, flossing and scrubbing my tongue, 
And um, for tongue scrubbers, I recommend a copper tongue scrubber. It's the most natural, healthiest element that you can use. Don't use like metal or plastic. Those are no, no bueno. But I'll, I'll link below one, a copper one, so you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to link a lot of things down below, so I have to remember when I'm editing, I'll make a list. But yeah, so I took my molds. I cracked open a few charcoal pills. Charcoal is a natural lightener. And I poured the powder, the charcoal powder, into the molds on both molds, one for the bottom, one for the top. Then I took a pipette, is that what it's called? The little squeezy thing where you pull liquid up. I filled it with hydrogen peroxide because this is also a natural lightener and a cleanser. And it's really good to clean up blood. So if you ever get a blood stain, us ladies, if we stain something, usually the bed or the chair in the kitchen, take a little bit of hydrogen peroxide, squeeze it on there, and you'll literally see the blood vanish before your eyes. It's magic. So anyways, I put a little bit of hydrogen peroxide mixed in with the charcoal. Then I slapped those bad boys on and my mouth was just like foaming with like charcoal hydrogen mix. And I was like spitting out, spitting out every time I got too full, but I left it in there for 20 minutes. And I wonder if you can see a difference. Can you? Hopefully. I'm gonna try to do it again next week, once a week, and hopefully see a difference. Cause I tried some Crest strips or maybe like a knockoff brand, like a Walmart brand not too long ago. And I didn't really see a difference. And I know there's a lot of like unsafe, well not unsafe, but unnatural chemicals in those. And the treatment I give myself is 100% natural. Yeah, so now if I can just figure out how to straighten my bottom teeth naturally, I think it's too late, but that's okay. All right, lights and loves, thank you so much for joining me on this mukbang. Obviously I have a lot of work to do. I need to get better at these videos. Please check out the creator comment box down below for all the links that I promised you and any videos or product links that I promised to share with you down below. Make sure to support James Cox and my homegirl Hippie Island. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up, hit the bell, turn on your notifications. Once you do all that, leave me a comment down below and I might feature your comment in a future video. Thank you so much for all your support, likes and loves, and we're on our way to 15,000 family members. Thank you so much. I love you. Please click on my cartoon face down below to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Click on one of the videos to the side of me to continue supporting me and watching some more of my content. And remember, if anything can go well, it will. I love you so, so much. Namaste.